Hey, Ron's Bass Lessons, back with another lesson. This is um, the song called Kiss Me Deadly. I believe the version is lead a Ford. Um, it's in the key of C. Not terribly complicated and not real um, elaborate on the bass, but definitely you're responsible for driving the song, as you are in many songs. So, um, Mostly uses, well, it completely uses the chords C, F, G, and E minor, I believe, is what the guitar player is playing, but you're not really stating the, the minorness. Um, you're doing, uh, so the, the, the song starts out with just the keyboard and the singer, and then you come in with um, the main sequence, which is C to F. And you'll play C and F repeatedly until the guitar player starts doing the signature um, riff, and then you'll play C to F to G. So it'll so it'll start out like. Actually, I think it's twice with the C's. So you're gonna do that twice. And like, like I said, just listen for when the guitar riff comes out, and, and then instead of just playing the C to F, you're going to go C, F, G. Uh, you're going to do C twice, sorry. Okay. And I like to, sometimes I like to vary it and do it in a different part of the neck just so you get the different octaves. So you can do it up here. Tenth frets, but same notes. And then when the chorus comes in, that's where you add in the E. So you, instead of going C F G, you're going C E F G. And I, and I think the rhythm is a little different. Like when I do it, I like to pulse it. So just C open E F and G. And again, you can do that down here. for that matter where the notes exist. Um, so yeah, so you're going to do that. That's your sequence. The, the, the verse starts out singing C to F on uh, 3 and 1 and then C, F and G, you know, on 3, 1 and 3. And then the C, open E, F to G. And then uh, the middle of the song, well, after the second chorus, they do like a little bridge thing where everything stops and then it's just the keyboard and the drums, and then you'll you'll see you start pulsing to C to F with the drums, and it's just like four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. And I think that does that. If I remember, it's four times, but yeah, you'll you know you'll hear it, listen to it, and then after when it comes back in, after that, then it goes into basically repeating chorus and an outro where it does a slight um, variation <clears throat> on the chorus the second time. So the first time you just do a regular chorus with C, um, well, well actually, yeah, you're going to come in with the C, F, G and then go to the C, E, F, G, you know, so you're going to do the, you know, and then you'll go into this. The second time it goes through the chorus, it'll um, it'll go C E, and then instead of just going F G, it'll go F D F G. So it, it's something like this. All right, and it'll go with the singing. So. If if you know those chords are coming when when she does it, you'll you know you'll hear it. And as always, I have this you know this is all written out, so just it's on the cover version. If YouTube doesn't censor it, it's at the end. I put it up there and just email me if you want um, a copy of the you know my handwritten chord chart. And then and then you just write out on the record it fades. You're just going to write out on the C E F G thing. So like I said, not complicated. But you're definitely driving the song because you know your pulsing is absolutely.
necessary to, to the song. So um, yeah, so so that's it. So if you like the channel and you're getting something out of my my efforts, by all means, please like and subscribe and spread the word. I appreciate it, and I'll see you at the next one.